السلام عليكم everyone I am Isra Badr, a pediatrician and a mental health specialist. I contribute as a researcher at ELIA organization. Today, inshallah, we will discuss anxiety in teens. We will learn what is anxiety in the first place. Why teens are highly vulnerable to anxiety? What are they anxious about? And how can I know that I am anxious? And what to do about it? Anxiety is a normal reaction to stress. It's the brain response to a perceived danger. Things like tests, meeting new people, speaking in public, and competing in sports can make us feel apprehensive or uneasy. Anxiety turns on our body's stress response, fight or flight. This is an instant surge of stress hormones is a stress is a survival response which prepares you to react quickly in the tense situation. So, anxiety is not always a bad thing. Actually, it can help us to be safe, motivate us to do our best, and to get ready for challenges. As a teenager, you are highly vulnerable to anxiety due to the intense changes that occur in adolescence and the hormonal surges associated with puberty. Adolescence years are also full with new experiences, opportunities, and challenges. Unlike childhood, where kids are worried about external things like monsters or darkness, teenagers are mainly worried about themselves. Their performance in school or sports, how others see and perceive them, and the physical changes they have in their bodies. When you are anxious, you will notice that your stomach aches, your heart is racing, your muscles are tense, and your sleep is interrupted. It's okay to feel anxious from time to time, but there is a difference between everyday worries and chronic anxiety that is excessive, irrational, and prevents us from entering, entering new experiences. Learning to control high levels of anxiety takes time, patience, and practice. Here, we share four main steps to do that. First is to acknowledge your feelings. It's important to recognize your emotions while you are feeling that way and what are the situations that provoke anxiety. Don't pretend that you are not anxious and don't force yourself to calm down. Also, you can share your feelings with a trusted friend or a family member. The next step is to follow healthy coping mechanisms. Having a well-balanced diet, sleeping adequately and exercise regularly, doing relaxation techniques, and using social media platforms wisely. Then, instead of avoiding situations that prompt anxiety, it's better to face them. Don't wait until anxiety is going away. Instead, gradually expose yourself to the stressful situation and you will manage it better with time. Spiritual well-being, which means our need for meaning and purpose and connection with something greater than ourselves. Spiritual well-being helps us to cope with stressful situations, to have high levels of life satisfaction, better adjusted to adversity, accept the reality and gain courage, and achieve growth. And when you are struggling after all of these steps, Please ask for medical advice. So to conclude, as a teenager, you would worry a lot about your performance, your appearance, how others perceive you, and it's totally okay. But when you are having high levels of stress, please acknowledge your feelings, follow life, uh, lifestyle that is healthy, face your fears gradually, 
and enhance your spiritual well-being and please remember to ask for medical advice when you are struggling thank you and jazakumullah khairan